there he is, there he is. Oh my gosh, there we go. There we go. No, he's gonna break, he's gonna break. He's gonna break. Look at that. There we go. It took us just about all day. And we finally landed the monster we've been going after. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we go offshore in it. It's kind of why I got it. Just I can do both. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everywhere I go, someone says something about the Panga. We're filling up right now, and then we are on the road to go fishing. <laughs> Let's be honest, what fish or what type of fishing would I wake up early in the morning to go do? If you can't see, we're out here solo fishing out of the panga today and the answer is sight fishing for giant, giant Jack Crevel. Now we don't have any sun as you guys can see, it's super foggy, but the water is just slicked over today and my hope is that we can find these big schools of Jack Crevel to sight fish like we did a couple weeks ago. That's really the game plan. I'm hoping we can do that. If not, we can head out to the jetties and look for big bull redfish. Maybe there'll be some Jack Crevel out there. But with that said, we are all rigged up. I got a top water, I got a swim bait and a spoon. We are ready for anything out there. I'm super excited. You guys stay tuned. Let's go find some fish. I tell you what, I did not plan on going offshore today after seeing the forecast calling four to four and a half foot seas. That's a good wave right there, right in front of us. That's a big one. But that wind is very low and we got a decent interval and everything is just slicked off and pristine. So I dropped two lures behind me, a spoon and a swim bait. And I'm just going to kind of putter around, troll around while I look for these Jack Crevel schools. There doesn't really seem to be any bird activity. It is early though, so things could pick up. Water looks like a deep green, which is better than I've seen it all year really. So that's a good sign. Clear water is coming in. The Jack should be here. We just gotta find them. Well, update, I am kind of upset with myself. I didn't fill up the boat. We're sitting on 10 gallons right now. And I am just now wishing I had more because there's some really good stuff out here that I wanna go try for laying at. And I just, I don't know. I don't wanna run out there with only 10 gallons of gas with uh by myself so yeah as long as that wind doesn't pick up too much we'll be okay i actually just marked a bunch of bait a second ago Tell you what, you can get seasick real quick out in this stuff.
Come on, swim bait. Give me a ling. Bingo. Well, we are out of the panga now and we are just gonna fish from land. And I guess at this point, we're gonna be looking for redfish. We might snag a jack, but I haven't seen much sign of them. Are we on? I think we got a fish. It seriously feels like I snag something. Not the fish I was looking for though. Oh my gosh, jacks, jacks, jacks right at the rocks. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, y'all. There's jacks right here. Y'all see that? He's right there. I gotta reel out and pitch it. There we go, 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 right there at the rocks. That's what we were after, right there. Oh gosh, he's going deep, he's digging deep. There we go, I wasn't even looking, but these jacks have just been cruising the shoreline when I'm not ready. And I haven't been able to get a lure in front of them until then. There we go. There we go. So stoked for that. We finally found them. We just got to keep them on now. That dude is digging deep. Oh gosh, it's so fun off the rocks. I can't even describe it. Oh yeah, that was awesome. We need a big top water right there. He hit it up high and that was just a spoon. All right, dude, let's get you up. Let's go, so pumped for that. Finally, fishing like I've never fished before. Usually we're down towards the end of the jetty, but today I'm up here. Oh, I just broke off. Today I'm up here. Gosh dang it. There's a steep drop off, so those jacks are just able to dig way down there, and I guess that line shapes those rocks up pretty good. Let's see if we can do this again. I tied a little bit larger leader this time, so we hopefully will get a little more cut resistance. Let's do it. giant explosion on the surface just gets me going. All right, so originally I had planned on leaving all of the clips of us hooking up into jacks in the video, uh, but after further review, I'm just gonna completely wipe all of the other hookups i'm gonna leave that first one that you guys just saw but it just it got really really bad so i'm actually gonna link them all to my patreon page so if you guys are a patron you'll be able to see me uh lose jack after jack basically all my screw-ups i'll put it up there uh, but for the sake of time we are going to cut straight to my last shot in the dark the last attempt of the day i was about to leave i was 
on my way back and uh, I decided to try one more thing. Check it out. Okay, y'all, well, I think there's only one thing left to do at this point. We gotta be able to sense the drag and I think we're gonna tie on this lure. Definitely more expensive than those swim baits, but it's got stout treble hooks on there. It doesn't dive too deep and uh, it's realistic. So we're gonna give this a try and it will be a miracle if we can get a landed jack. Oh, right here, right here, right here. There he is, there he is. Oh my gosh, there we go, there we go. No, he's gonna break, he's gonna break. He's gonna break. All right, he's going out. That's good, he's going out, he's going out. Perfect, perfect, perfect. No, we don't want him to go down there. Oh my gosh, he's up here, he's up here. He's up shallow. He's in the shallows. Oh my gosh, y'all. We are walking back to the boat. And this just happened. Hopefully those hooks hold up. Seems like they are so far. Come on, buddy, come here. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. As long as we can keep him up, we'll be able to land him. That was the most insane explosion of the day. Come on. We got him. We got him. Ow, oh, his keel is very sharp. We got a jack, baby. Oh my gosh, the grind today has been like no other. Look at that. There we go. It took us just about all day. But we finally landed the monster we've been going after. I cannot be more stoked right now. I walked up and down, up and down, up and down those rocks, throwing at jacks, hooking them, having them turn their nose to it, the whole nine yards and have one finally in my hands. It's very, very satisfying. Let's get this dude revived and let him go. Look at that dude. Look at that dude. Bruiser, he's starting to find his equilibrium again. That is such a monster. There he goes, he's kicking off. And that is how it is supposed to go. Unfortunately, today, it didn't for probably 15 attempts, which is mind blowing because, oh my gosh, 15 times, I think, I don't know. I'm probably gonna edit out a lot of those hookups and eats and chases because it got so frustrating, yet there was no way I was gonna quit. Like I was I'm so determined to get a fish landed that we just, I can't even tell you. I, there's no way that this video is gonna show how much we walked and looked and fished today. Like I probably walked miles up and down the rocks and to finally get it done makes it feel so good, so good.
On the bright side, we did get a lot of sick eats, sick chases, and we learned a ton about these jacks. When that water is clear and they're in skinny water, they are very, very wary. I noticed that several times I think they actually saw me because I was so high above them. Other times I think they saw my line or it crossed them and spooked them. So as the fisherman myself, I got to put that lure in a place where they're trailing it and that line's not going to hit them first. But yeah, um, I am absolutely whipped. We got some battle scars, opened up some old battle scars. At the end of the day, we got it done, which I'm grateful for. Uh, I think we're gonna fish a little bit more just on our way out here. The wind's really starting to kick up out there. So uh, I don't really know what's next. This might be the end of the video. One thing I do want to mention here is, uh, or one thing I want to apologize for is really the, the scrappy videoing today. Wasn't very uh, cinematic, I guess you can say. Today was just an absolute grind, and every break, every missed bite beat me down, so.